the ayes have it. Twelfth sitting of the House of Representatives, Fifth Session of the Tenth Republican Parliament, Wednesday, November 19, 2014. The sitting commenced at 1.30 p.m. with the Speaker of the House granting leave of absence to the members for San Fernando East and Diego Martin Northeast for the day's sitting. Two papers were laid, one in the name of the Minister of Finance and the Economy, who moved that the report be referred to the Public Accounts Enterprises Committee and one by the Deputy Speaker. The member for Ruka Maloney presented two reports, the 16th and 17th reports of the Joint Select Committee appointed to inquire into and report on Ministries Group 2, Statutory Authorities and State Enterprises on the Administration and Operations of the National Commission for Self-Help Limited and the Trinidad and Tobago Blind Welfare Association, respectively. The member for Coover North presented two reports, the 5th and 6th reports of the Public Accounts Committee on the examination of the audited financial statements of the Regulated Industries Commission for the years ended September 30, 2008 to 2010, and the audited financial statements of the Trinidad and Tobago Electricity Commission for the years ended September 30, 2008, 2009, and 2011, respectively. The second Prime Minister's question time under the new standing orders occurred next, with questions ranging from government's reasons to seek external loan funding for the Point Fordham Highway to the proposed date of debate on the Senate amendments to the Constitution Amendment Bill. The Prime Minister was also asked to provide the sum of Petrotrin's foreign debt and to confirm if the loan was being repaid in a timely manner. Four questions qualified for urgent response. All were answered. Three questions qualified for oral answer. All three questions were answered. Two bills were introduced, the Motor Vehicles and Road Traffic Bill 2014 in the name of the Minister of Transport and the Adoption of Children Amendment Bill 2014 in the name of the Minister of Gender, Youth and Child Development. Debate resumed from Friday, November 7, 2014 on the Public Procurement and Disposal of Public Property No. 2 Bill 2014. The Minister of Labour and Small and Micro Enterprise Development was the first to enter the debate, followed by the Member for Shogunis West, the Minister of Education, and the Member for Point Fortin. Eight other members made contributions before debate on the bill was suspended. The House adjourned to Friday, November 28, 2014, at 1:30 p.m. At which time the opposition will move a motion asking the government to state its preparedness for the Ebola virus. The sitting ended at 7.59 p.m. Stay tuned for continuing reports of The Eyes Have It. For more information, visit our website at www.ttparliament.org and follow us on Facebook and Twitter.